and I trust them. I trust them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at Zoom. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, I think this was a little different than uh, a scenario like you are inheriting a program that has done a really good job of winning. You know, Coach Dan Brott and his staff did a great job of already building that tradition. So recruiting, uh, you're not having to sell a rebuild. You're selling on a program that traditionally has been a winning program. And so it made recruiting a little easier. We're not going in saying that we're going to do this, we're going to do that. It's about building upon the brand that was already built and how we can enhance it and uh, kind of move it forward but uh, the old staff did an unbelievable job of creating a winning culture and uh, we look forward to building on what they had already built here. It was a big change obviously. Uh, basically we eat different, we work different, we sleep different so it was like a 360 change. He cares about how we like operate off the court so that's real different and on the court we go hard, we run a lot so all that. I mean, I think it's easy to adapt to because I grew up just wanting to be a winner and that's something I want to do at all times. So just wanting to go out and win every time, that's easy to adapt to. Uh, just a new face of just getting everybody here, getting acclimated to the new guys. Uh, you know, just building the family again. And uh, I feel like uh, it's, it's turned out for the better. I enjoy it. I love the new culture here. I love what the new coaches are bringing. And yeah, I can't wait for the next few years. The changes um, between this year and the previous years, I would say uh, probably my first two years coming in as an underclassman, I was learning a lot and, um, you know, I was in that process and now I'm a little older, uh, I just try to be more of a leader. I'm still trying to learn every day, learn more stuff and, you know, coach doing a good job of like being on me about that, but I think the, the, change, the changes that I, uh, the way I approach things is me being more of a leader now than you know, being an underclassman in the past few years. And I think that's helped me as a player and as a person on and off the court. Yeah, I think the guy's buying into to what we're doing. You know, Coach Gross is very detail-oriented. It goes not only in our staff meetings, but it, it carries over to the floor. And so our guys, are we're getting uh, a lot of repetition, a lot of different things. And uh, we, I think we do a good job of just the little things. Uh, the coach would definitely carry along with Gross. And him is, is a lot about attitude and effort. Uh, he wants to win, obviously, but if we're like not playing hard and we win, he's going to get honest about it. So as long as we're playing hard and have a good attitude and winning, that's, that's gross. Attitude, effort, and winning.